There's little that Steve Harvey hasn't accomplished in his career and his hard work has awarded him with mansions across the country. I mean, he does have a big family so I can see why he needs so much space. Not only does Steve live in a mega Beverly Hills mansion at the moment, he also has properties in Georgia and Texas. In this video, I'll be giving you all the details on Steve Harvey's real estate, where him and his family call home, and more. Steve Harvey is a comedian, businessman, and entertainer. We best know him from his TV gigs like hosting the Steve Harvey Morning Show, Family Feud, Celebrity Family Feud, and events like the Miss Universe competition and Fox New Year's Eve. Currently, Steve has a new talk show on Facebook Watch called Steve, which gives insightful advice and inspiring guest interviews. Besides his gigs as an entertainer, he's also an author with four books under his belt. This includes his bestseller, which I'm sure you've heard of, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. I mean, it even had the films Think Like a Man and its sequel based on it. The nagging, it's the yelling, it's the crazy mood swings. I mean, you're not gonna talk to me no kind of way. I'm a grown ass man. Grown ass man. You know me, Don, I'm grown. That was the only problems you was having with Gail, though, right? Yo, Zeke, do not get that man started. I'm asking the question. I just said started. Well, now let's get me started up, turn the key. Say it, get it out. Rumor has it that Gail was whooping that ass. What's the first word you said? I think it was whooping that ass. No, first word you said was rumor. Cause that's what it was, Zeke. In 2017, Steve founded Steve Harvey Global, which houses his production company, East 112, and other business ventures. He and his wife Marjorie are also the founders of the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation, a nonprofit focused on youth education. Speaking of the couple, Steve and his third wife Marjorie have quite the large blended family. They share seven children together, which includes Marjorie's three kids from her previous marriage, who Steve legally adopted, and his four children from his previous marriages. Although some of the kids are fully grown and moved out of the family home, it's clear they need a big house. At the time of this recording, Steve is 63 years old and has amassed a net worth of about $200 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at Steve Harvey's mansions and the properties he calls home. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Tyler Perry and Drake and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> Before we look at Steve's current mega home in Los Angeles, let's look at the place he lived prior. Before Steve's show moved from Chicago to LA, of course the Windy City was where he spent most of his time. Around 2012-2013, Steve lived in a penthouse on the 88th floor of the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago, Illinois, and it was quite the fancy apartment. It wasn't until 2018 that the place was sold, and when it was first listed it was almost 10 mil. Some say that he purchased the penthouse, while other sources report he was renting for a massive 25k per month. Either way, the condo at the Trump spanned 5,500 square feet of living space and took up half a floor. It was just one level below the top floor unit. Steve's Chicago condo had three beds and 5.5 baths, as well as three fireplaces throughout. The ceilings in this place were 16 feet high, and of course, everything was top of the line. Some features included new appliances in the chef's kitchen, a butler's pantry, and large walk-in closets. The Trump Tower also offered Steve access to one-of-a-kind amenities including the spa at Trump, a 75-foot heated swimming pool, state-of-the-art fitness center, and indoor parking. Not to mention the penthouse had perfect views of the Chicago River and the city. Now I'm sure it was hard for Steve to leave that Chicago living situation behind, but in my opinion he moved on to something even better. Since his show now rebranded as Steve moved to California, so did him and his family. Although it wasn't confirmed by the couple, it's been reported more than once that Steve's current home is located in Beverly Park. Los Angeles. North and South Beverly Park make up a gated community in LA which is well known for its large houses and celebrity residents. It's rumored that Steve and his wife Marjorie didn't in fact buy the place but they're renting it at the steep price of 110 k per month. The asking price on this home was about $165 million, so I guess it makes sense. Both Mr. and Mrs. Harvey have posted dozens of photos and videos that were clearly taken at the same house and it looks like this is it. Wait.
Their Beverly Park mansion spans 11,234 square feet of living space and has 5 beds and 8 baths. I know there aren't enough bedrooms for all the kids, but some of them are grown and have moved out. Steve's home is on a secluded property spanning 1.8 acres to be exact and it's designed in a Hamptons inspired traditional style. It was built in 2000 by producer Mike Medavoy and his wife Irina who sold it back in 09 to another couple. There's a gorgeous center hall in this home, common living and family rooms, a formal dining room, library and even a maid's quarters. Old listings state the dining room was actually painted hot pink but it may have been changed since. The chef's kitchen has unique colors too since the cabinets are all painted a surprising cobalt blue. Some how it works with the stainless steel and walnut flooring. Other rooms in Steve and Marjorie's mansion include a contemporary library with floor to ceiling bookshelves and of course a home movie theater which every celebrity home needs. Steve and Marjorie's master suite has its own private balcony overlooking the grounds and their attached bathroom is simply huge. Looks bigger than your average apartment. The mansion also offers a detached guest house in the backyard which spans a thousand square feet and even includes a full kitchen. In between the main and guest home there are multiple patios, amazing landscaping and lawns. Of course, there's a long swimming pool and spa too. Out front of Steve's mansion, you're greeted by a giant gated entry that opens to the motor court with room for more than a dozen cars. Not to mention there's a four car garage. We'll take a look at Steve's luxury cars in just a moment, which is obviously why he needs all that parking space. I need everybody with the last name Harvey down here right now. If your last name is Harvey and have bought you anything, Come down here right now so we can get started. I think it's a lot we do is Dude, centered around food. <laughs> it's around eating in this house. This is so fake for television. Yeah, we don't have. No, he put so much stuff on his pizza. Stop playing. Let's go on do a real pizza, Steve. Although Steve and his family have been spending most of their time in LA for the past year or so, apparently he still maintains his mansion in Atlanta, Georgia. He bought this home back in 2010 for 3.4 million, and it looks like he got his money's worth. Of course. I also heard that the house is full of gold-trimmed velvet furniture, has indoor golf too, a movie theater, and full bar. He's also a self-proclaimed claims cigar enthusiast and at his Atlanta house Steve has a pretty impressive cigar cabinet. Before we wrap up this vid, let's look at the car collection Steve keeps on his property. Sources say that he has a soft spot for pristine, crystal clear white luxury cars, and in his collection there's more than one Bentley and Rolls Royce. We also know he has a black Rolls Royce Phantom too, though that costs over 350k. Now he doesn't keep them all to himself either. Let's not forget Steve gifted his wife Marjorie a Rolls Royce Phantom drop head coupe for her birthday worth about 500k. Then in exchange for his birthday he got a Bentley Mulsanne. Not too too bad. So now we've seen Steve Harvey's luxury properties including his current mansion in Beverly Park he's been calling home with his family for over a year. We also know Steve keeps a home in Atlanta, Georgia that he bought back in 2010. Aside from these estates, Steve loves Texas and owns a 7,430 square foot property in Little Elm, Texas, an extended suburb of Dallas. Not much is known about the interior of the place but it was built in 2003, sits on 3.67 acres and has 5 beds and 6 baths. Prior to this he owned and two other spots in Texas too. Steve's life wasn't all fancy mansions though. Back in the late 80s, he was actually homeless and living in his Ford Taurus, trying to make it as a comedian. So I think coming from such humble beginnings, Steve deserves everything he's gotten more. What did you guys think about his mansions? Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments you left on previous videos. On our recent Drake updated house tour, Budis wrote, I'd love to be in quarantine in this house. It's crazy, but I would also feel lonely. I agree, I definitely think the house would feel a bit cold to be all alone. In, no matter how gorgeous it is, I wonder who's staying with him. On our Harry Styles house tour, Joyline wrote, I didn't realize he's that rich, so humble and down to earth. I really do love everything about you, my man Harry Styles. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Steve Harvey's mansions like his place in LA and more. I gotta say, I wish I could see more of how him and his wife designed the places. Guess we'll have to stay tuned. Did you like his properties? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!